So this is going to be for my Capricorns. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for September 8th through the 10th. Keep in mind with this being general, you only want to take what does apply and let the rest fly. If you want a personal session with me, check out the description. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat. And let's get straight into the reading. So Capricorns, the first card is going to represent you and your current self. And I do have the devil card. So this is actually hilarious because the devil card actually does represent Capricorns in the tarot. Whenever I say that to people, people be like, oh my God, I'm not the devil. I don't want that. But that's just how tarot is. I'm not saying you guys are the devil or anything like that. Um, but if you know tarot, you would know that already. But with you guys showing up in this position, this has a lot to do with like the lower vibrational energies that sometimes um, Capricorns you guys can experience where it's like, what is that saying? There's like this saying that they have for Capricorns um, where it's like Capricorns, they have like the hardest time when it comes to letting go of things. And I think that's kind of the space that some of you guys are in where you're having a hard time like saying, okay, I gave this all I got and just being done. So um, for some of you, this could have a lot to do with a family situation where they're struggling with like substance abuse, for instance. And it's like you're trying to help them, but for some reason, it's like you're exhausting yourself at this point because this person's just not getting better in terms of that substance abuse issue. Or just a family member who's toxic to you or you being in a literal toxic relationship or some of you kind of fighting with your own personal bad habits. This is you needing to address the things that kind of hold you back from personal growth and things that you feel limited by. Now, this next card is going to represent the theme for this time frame. I do have the Queen of Materials in reverse. So this time frame has a lot to do with getting your mojo back, um, where you've been thrown off more so in a mental space, in your mental space, excuse me. This is like you needing to change some things up in your routine, in your schedule, or at least realizing that to kind of feel empowered, to feel back on top. Also, trust issues may be coming up or jealousy may be a, um, a theme of this time frame. But with the Four of Cups, you could be pretty tired of someone um, acting as if they don't trust you. Or someone else making it apparent to you that you can't trust them. For my Capricorns who want to make more money, you may feel like you just want to make more money right now. It's a matter of you needing to kind of take that disdain for where you're at now and kind of figure out where you fit in next. But some of you are kind of just like acknowledging that you're unhappy, but not really doing anything about it. And of course, manifestation does not just work off of I want, I want, I want. It also works on action. Okay. Now, what you should avoid during this time frame, I have the nine of swords or nine of voices. And um, this is listening to er erratic thoughts. So this is like anxiety ridden thoughts that you may have that pop up randomly and then like wanting to listen to that and then make decisions based off of anxiety. Um, this is also... like obsessing over certain situations because all that does is like breed disappointment. Hmm. This could also be, and I want to say the signs, but um, during this time frame, this is avoiding someone who you know is like emotionally manipulative or slightly a player. 
okay? There's no point in continuously giving energy to that if you already know this person's true colors. So as long as you don't do that, you're good. Now, the advice for you, I do have the death card. So there's some changes that need to be made in, like I said, your day-to-day -day routine. So you feel just not like you're in the same loop every single day. Um, this is also like, mm, like being open to change. Like I said in the beginning, Capricorns, you guys are like the most interesting people when it comes to experiencing change. You guys don't like it. Like it takes you guys a minute, a minute to disconnect from certain things and and to go in different directions. And this is just you needing to be open to the changes that are already happening around you. Instead of kind of fighting back. Now a possible challenge that may come up. I do have the four of pentacles or materials. And this is saving for some of you. You could be having to spend a lot of money on things. Or you just are. This could be stress spending. Things you have to take care of bill wise. Some of you are just very, like, reserved and closed off. But you want love at the same time as well. Or some of you want to stay in a relationship, but you're also not open to it as well. So it's like being with someone, but then it's like not being able to sexually engage with them or just not seeing them the same because of whatever they may have done in the past. It's so like in this weird in-between state. Now, when it comes to the future, I do have the Eight of Wands. Um, so this is travel for some of you. This is travel. This is things moving pretty quickly. When it comes to like some of you who may have recently applied to a job, things moving quickly with that. Hmm. Someone who you may have stopped talking to for like a day or two, they, they're going to reach out to you. And this person's going to do the most to get your attention. <laughs> but um, this is what I see. I hope you took something from this video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe. Make sure you check out the description so you can get a personal if you need one. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, Capricorns.